Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast and I'm Mephone and this is the NBA Finals where we end here for the game of the postseason. It's next after this. Game 5 of the NBA Finals of 2K22. Me, along with Mifa, and our uh, sideline reporter, I will have another one here. And we have is OJ, that will be here with us today. Hello, I'm just going to be seeing how this game's going to turn out. Everything's turning out very good there, OJ. Miami Heat lost the game against, uh, against the Golden State Warriors in the last game. Right now the Warriors are in the lead, 3-1. So that could mean if the Warriors win it again, they are the NBA Finals 2K champion. Yeah, that's correct, because this is about to close things down here for the NBA 2K season. And that's why, because the season finale is the underway that we bring things here. Of course, I know everything about this one. Turned out to be just one of the greatest games ever. Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and and also, of course, Andrew Wiggins. All the three of them were doing the best. And other players, much Jordan Poole, Draymond Green, they're doing very good so far. And right now, this is the last one that we're about to see, the last matchup here. And if there's, if there's a win for Miami, then we will head back to Miami for the Game 6 of the Warriors and Heat. And then, if, if they are tied, then we will be heading back to Chase Center for a sudden dip. That means win, wins it all. That's right. Win it all is the only one left. It's tough now because this might be the only one that we're looking for. And now let's get you down to Chase Center to finish the game. Let's get started, folks. Enjoy. And just about the moment to get things underway, the Curry and all the other teams, time for Game 5. Be back after this. Hi, everyone. Hello everyone, we're back at the Chase Center, and along with me, Michon, and OJ, on the sideline reporter will be David Aldridge. And this will be the only one that will be bringing things for the last one. Here's the A. Kevin, thank you. Last season, Bam Adebayo signed that five-year max extension, the richest contract in Miami Heat franchise history. He said of this team, they're going to push you no matter what. Whether you've got $160 million or you've got $1.5, we all get treated the same. That's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Good story. Good story out there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, so you Steve. And let's talk about this, about the Warriors. Those tough players are the only ones that we have ever done here before. And without Kevin Durant and Andre Iguodala, how does it feel now to be here for Stephen Curry and Thompson, guys? Well, it proves now that Stephen Curry is the deliberation, and Seth Curry, his brother, is watching for him. I think he will be ready for his uh, champion if they win the game. I'm pretty sure it looks like that Clay Thompson was definitely doing a well wacky job out there. And so far, however, he got a lot of great repetition in between the two. I think the matchup should be great. 
to finish things on. And we approach down here with the starting fuel of a Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Courtesy of Gatorade, we have is Stephen Curry in point guard. Along the other hand is Clay Thompson in a small four. Then it's Dray Draymond Green in center. Andrew Wiggins in point forward. And Jordan Poole in shooting guard. One thing that's tough now is we got to give that one a good wacky whirl. And for most of the time, I like to say that Andrew Wiggins has definitely played here for the last two seasons here playing with the Timberwolves. But so far now, their team is looking for a huddle. Score is even. Here's Jimmy Butler over Clay Thompson. That first shot can't get the throw. Cool wound with the ball. Now he swings off to Thompson. He swings back to Poole, right over to Wiggins. He breaks it back to Thompson. Three-pointer for Curry. Good on a triple. That's Curry with the first three-pointer in game five. And Thompson with the assist. You call that one here, the Curry man. Always making three-pointer shots here. Always make the contest of three-pointers. Exactly indeed, though. Can't lose your man to have the advantage. Butler inside, it's rebounded again, takes it back, two misses, and he makes three in there to make it the third time as they now have a 5-4 game Warriors lead. That's what they call it for because the Jimmy Butler was definitely on a smart man he has played here after the 2020 part of the playoff to finals. They've already lost against LeBron James' team, the Lakers, and that's what happened because they are not really, really strong enough to get there at that time. James has a higher average instead of uh, Jimmy Butler. That's because of the higher players are having a hard time keeping in control. Adebayo with the screen. Here's the alley-oop. Excellent D by Andrew Wiggins as the alley-oop made an unsuccessful moment for Miami. Draymond Green to Thompson. He swings off to Poole. Poole right over to Wiggins. Brings back over to Curry. Over Lowry. The first foul falls on Kyle Lowry. His first first team foul. That's a tough one to make the shot out there. And not to be excused on here. Stephen Curry got a little bit of a heavy target out there. And guys, I'm really sure that Stephen Curry is looking for our finals MVP here. If he would like to win it all and gain up the lead, we'll see how well they can do here and get right to the point. Right now, Stephen Curry is at the free throw line, shooting two. We're making uh, a lot of consecutive free throws here for Stephen Curry in the finals in the postseason. He had a hard one and taken his time to think. First free throw sends it in for Curry. And to talk about Stephen Curry, he really has got a good plan. I also want Holy Moly there too. Two players are checked in as Victor Oladipo and Tyler Hero are checked in for Robinson and Tucker. And a second free throw is in. Warriors lead by three. Lowry dish off to Oladipo. Wiggins on it. Passes over to Lowry. Searches the floor. Butler around the wing. Five to shoot. With a three. He missed the three-pointer outside the range, and it's off the target. You talk about that when Jimmy Butler was having a hard time out there. He's trying to get it right in the money. And it may not be enough to succeed for him on his only cost. Here's Lowry. Back the other way to Butler. And Lowry inside the attack. And an offensive breakdown puts up on the Warriors with their leading score of three. They break it down and put it back in for the spot. But they are having trouble to keep them on the roll. They do. They can't be losing the players out there. And that's what happens. They should never lose their game and strategy. Thompson delivers the three. He has the first three-pointer outside the range. It's 12 to 6. They lead by six. Butler on Thompson. Lowry tries again. That goes the other way with the layup drive. And Curry would have watched him. 
so far enough right there. They're they're definitely not trying to keep the momentum in to try to do it again. Curry, back to cool. He shoots over Hero. That's taken away by Bam Manabaya. Lowry off to Old Depot. Nice defensive, solid D performance run for the Warriors. Curry back to Poole. Now to Thompson. The Warriors are playing a nice passive offense to make the aggressive. Wiggins slips the drive, and he makes the first and second bucket of the night. And Stephen Curry with the assist. What a great asshole. He's doing a lot harder than he's looking for. Hero outside. In the middle, go to lay up in, and he went almost went up to the foul. They are still in it. Curry right to pool. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. Overall depot, and that one's off the target. That ends the first quarter. Warriors lead by four. We'll take a quick break, and we will get back to the game right after this. Great, easy uh, strength out there. It looks like Miami is looking for a go for a go ahead lead. We'll see if they catch things up. And if you're just tuning in for the NBA Finals, we got the second quarter coming up in action. Warriors have the lead, 14 over 10 of Miami. Without being a question mindful of what the Warriors can do for the next players, they're looking for another player from the different team. And they might be uh, and they might be picking up another different uh, draft moment here for a start here for a next season here of uh, the 76th season here of the NBA. What do you guys think will be? Well, we might be going in and out that time. I'm thinking there might be a good look here in between the range. And I might have to say that could be a great idea if we can add the rookie players to have it started out here for the new season. That might be a terrific opportunity here to give that one a call. Adebayo finds Struess and he makes a drive and dump. Watch out for that moment. You call that Struess was definitely going to get right in there. Oh, I'm coming out here and I'm pulling it in. And that was your slam dunk presented by AT&T 5G. The slam cam moment. Looney back to Curry. Dish back to Payton in the second. Here's Payton. Takes a drive. Count the bucket and one. What a show run here for Payton. He is delivering things up here on the board. Khaled Martin has taken his first foul. New changes are being be given here for the, for the Heat as Victor and Bam are checked out. Robinson and Tucker are checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. Good on the free throw. Peyton the second got a great handle with the hustle start out there. I'm looking like he's going to be really hustling on the bound. Shrews back to paint to Hero. In a drive. Great jack dip by Looney. What a stop by, by the Warriors defensive player of the game. He's looking for a, a good defenseman player, but I think Rudy Gobert might, might clinch it again here for the moment. It is true. Honest with the opinion out there, it may be tough when I try to think of ahead, and it may be too hard to try to pull him out of the way and try to like regain a group. It's hard when you think, oh, hero. Wow. Flying like a fast player out there, like a superhero. Should have been wearing that cape for a while. Looney up, chuck good over PJ Tucker. That's his first bucket in game five. Talk about Kevon Looney, he's uh, working like a magician. Robinson back outside, covered up by Porter. Only three minutes to play on court in the first half of the game. Hero over Curry, and that picks it in there, back in the corner. That's two in a row. He's certainly a tough one to try to 
roll things out of the way. And not before bed, it may be a tough one to try to think of a planning of a bigger timing. Not for him tonight. Can be a hard one. Curry up. The shot is good. And that's a number two pointer for Curry. Miami trailing by seven. He goes in now, and another two-pointer basket can't handle in for Hero. Oh, Kaminga, what a move here! And uh, Kaminga's got his first bucket. He's on a roll. What a, what a terrific feed for the Warriors' offense to take their time and go with the huddle. Hero, a number two-pointer made since the timeout has been called by Golden State Warriors. Only 2.03 left to play in the first half. It's 25-18. They got a lot of uh, showing off their skills at this moment. They got uh, so many other plays that they don't want to do for their own time. And to join us here for next season here of NBA 2K23, we have another players to get right into work. We have a rookie players to be on their knees, and on their heads, off their feet. I'm telling you this one here. There might be some other previews here that we might be showing you here in September that year. And then we will see how well they do if they can try to keep it alive again and again. It's definitely tough now. I don't know what to say because there's a lot of players that want to get hydrated up. So far, however, they may be uh, doing things again. Like they wanted to keep it going and then try to like go back to the, the, the huddle. They need to talk things over for them. And maybe 2K23 is the next step to be. I really believe we're thinking about we should return to the next season part of this game. It might be a good one. Better tough one to be at last as we go uh, from a hustle inbound in the group to go in between commentator runs to commentators here on the screen. It might be a very good one here, but you'll never know if it might come in again. What a shot for Jordan Poole. He has got his number by liberating the point buckets. And Draymond Green with the assist. Butler outside, covered up by Wiggins. Screen on DJ Tucker. In that run, nice stop D here by Andrew Wiggins. Thompson delivered over to Wiggins. He swings back to Valencia. Finds Thompson. Oh, he just got a reverse dunk! Look at that drive! You better see that one! Two hands are in, going reverse. Go backwards. Oh yeah. I love that one. I love Clay. <laughs> I like that Clay moment drive out there. Hey, he's the best. I agree. Martin coming up by Valencia. Takes a three. And that's his first three-pointer here for Miami Heat of Khalid Martin for the first bucket in game five. Thompson back the other way. He swings it over to Valencia. That pass to Poole. Moves it back to Valencia. Finds Green. Over Butler. Another miss by Golden State. Butler has another rebounding and transition to go back in between the offense and defense. And a three-pointer has relieved him on the board. He's trying to get a hustle out there. Can't lose the man on average. He finds Valencia. Poole, back the other way, making new changes here on the offensive court. He finds Thompson. Back to Poole, over the green. Over to down the four. Thompson for two. That beats the shot clock violation before being expired. He's doing really well out there. Beat that shot clock buzzer. Thompson again. Oh, he almost lost the dunk, but he holds on tight. And that ends the first half of the period. 31-26. Golden State Warriors lead. My chance now to go to the sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Please stand by for the halftime show. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? I just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, we're trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if we can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys.
Thanks, DA. Me, me throwing at OJ. We'll take a quick break and we'll get to the third quarter. Let's have their tough discussion for the halftime show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. Well, for the Warriors, Kenny, what was your impression? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all cylinders. You love the patience, the flow, very efficient. Value and possessions is fueling their success right now. This is not a team. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Miami? They were strong in transition. It seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted to wear. Standing there. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Bye-bye, Cruz. We'll see you all here for the next season. And now let's get back into the game. And if you're just tuning in, welcome back to the NBA Finals of 2K22. The third quarter is underway, and we have a lots of moment for Stephen Curry. He is trying to make a quick movement. And he really wants to find things out here, how well he has played. Also with Clay Thompson that much. He's definitely one of the better, better players that he's ever done so far. I'm really uh, betting on him. He's got a great uh, eyes on uh, eyes between the man and bench. I really like seeing uh, those players in between the tricks. And most of that time, can be the only one to make a great player ever before. And here, Mifon, what do you think how the Warriors did so far? They have a lot moment to go on around here. They need some a lot of uh, lots of lots of uh, great plays in the moment drive. It looks like the plays are already turning out great. But for Miami, it looks like they're trying to answer back to get right into it. What a play moment here. And the foul was already reached up. You count the bucket in one. That's how they slowed you down. Jimmy Butler is at the free throw line shooting one after a foul puts up on Thompson. Their first team foul for Golden State. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And a free throw is sent in for Butler. Warriors lead by two. Wiggins tries again. Cool back the other way. Curry over to Thompson. Around Bam. Excellent feed off moment for, for Clay Thompson. He has nine points. You saw that one, dear. A great uh, looking of the playability for a play. Three pointer can't hit the mark for Kyle Lowry. Green finds Cool. He now hands it over to Curry. Back to Cool. Warriors taking a big uh, shuffle around here. Green says no nose. And almost went with the steal for Bam on the bio. It's close call because that may be a tough one to try to keep the range out of sight. They can't lose the man out there. They don't want to mess things up. And they got to do it right away. Robinson back to Lowry. Six on the shot clock. Lowry up for three, and went out of bounds, and that's a shot clock turnover on Miami. Golden State ball is taken away. A defensive mobile one block of Bam Adebayo on green. Yeah, he's already been stepping things in here right now. The moment of time to town, the moment he had it all in down. So far, he's got a great eyes in the key to help the players knock it down right away. Here's Curry, he takes it over, back to Payton. Moves back to Curry. Up with the drive, and no problem taking the feed pointers. Curry and Thompson are still even up, and seven assists here, what a play run for Curry. Hero up to Bam. A tight D, and a making great saving rebound is Border. Border really knows his strength. He's got some lots of uh, lots of communication skills out there. He's trying to do hard as he can. Try to stay focused and hydrated. 
Curry over to Looney. Over Butler. And the rebound is taken back by Porter. Almost took the ball away, but it holds on tight. Curry again. Oh, we checked it up. That might be Oladipo or Struess. I have to go with uh, Struess because that may be a tough rebounding here to try to block that shot. Or he may have been lost the ball already. It may be tough to try to stop it down. They might need some help. It can be very tricky and may not be a good idea to try to hold things on that they can do. Rooney. Rooney up. And that's no good. Oladipo with the ball. Pass to Butler. Back to Oladipo. Now back to Anabayo. Miami moving the ball around. Hero tries again. Goes over Curry. And great speed defensive rebound by Porter. Porter's got a great uh, looking shot out there. Might need to keep it spirit to get, make that a living touch. Curry up. Try it. And you count that one. 11 points for Curry. Up in the lead over Clay Thompson's score. Now it's 37-29. Wow. Butler only had one hand. One hand dunk, it may be like a tough rebounding in position. They don't want to mess things up here like they did before. Taking it back to Lugruni. Looney. Order again. Dash back to Curry. Porter swings over to Looney. Now Kaminga. Over Butler. Excellent contact motion, and Jonathan Kaminga has his second bucket. He's tough on that one here. Almost lost the ball that quick. He could have just waited until then, and if he loses the ball, well, it might be changing things over, and that could be a hard one to try to stop the defenders from keeping it coming back. So far, it looks like that Kaminga wants to get right over Butler. Payton again, passes to Curry. Over a hero. Excellent shot in the corner of the box. And Curry is delivering it again. He starts so scoreless to try to not make the shot without missing it. He's really going for a good heavy feed. Curry answers the rebound on Anabayo. Peyton out to Curry. He brings back to Peyton. Ten seconds to play in the third period. Porter over Struess. Excellent shot. Another two-pointer releases for the Golden State Warriors. Oladipo for the bonus beater. And wet air ball. That ends the third quarter. And Warriors are looking for themselves to win it all. It's 43-33. They're up by 10. Well, I think that might be the only it. We might stop game five. And they could be the champions. We'll take a quick break, and fourth quarter is underway. Next, after this. And here's a one last moment to check out the State Farm Assist of the Game. All right, here's a quick look at the detail here. Let's have a quick look at the recap here. Great pass, and you see that move? That was on Wiggins that put up right around here on Hero. That was a great play because if he was going left, he would have stepped out of bounds. If he was going right, he would stay inbound. That is a good feed for Stephen Curry. And the fourth quarter is about to be brand in action as we all are back on the court. So glad you could join us. Time to finish the game. Oladipo on Curry. Now ball knocked loose. Still holds it tight. And Curry takes a steal. Now, Bjorn Poole. Curry up for three. He wants it. Money! It's 16 points for Curry. And a great pass by Poole. Uh, excellent dunk. The counterattacker. You feel like you're going to need uh, lots of shots of momentarily. It looks like Curry is going to be on a, on a Hall of Fame if he keeps things going. Thompson rolls over again to Poole. Back to Curry. Over to Lowry, and that's a straight make two for Curry. 18 points, and they are on the roll. This count one, I really feel the bet. Oladipo back to Lowry. 
outside, Robinson, three-pointer delivers in the range. But that's a two-pointer, it turns to be a without a three-pointer made for Robinson. He wouldn't stand back already because that's a three-point line. If you step on a two-pointer line, that means three-point line, that means it's a two points. That won't count it in if you can try to take things up and away. Curry over Lowry. Excellent shot, 20 points for Curry. He's like already like doing things again. I don't know what to tell you this one here, but we got a great hustle work in now. Martin with the one hand dunk. This one comes back the other way with a number two point dunk score. Poole back to Curry. Now he makes another new changeups here. Three minutes to play in the fourth quarter of the fifth game for the finals. Thompson, he now swings it over to Green. Four to shoot. Wiggins up. And a stop play by Caleb Martin with another defensive rebound in the game. Now Robinson on pool. Over to Tucker, back to Oladipo. Shoots over Thompson. Another miss by Miami. Miami is losing patience out there. Not a great sight at all. And I'm telling you why, they are not the best ones to keep it in here. Curry with the two. Excellent shot. Another two point made for Curry. And Thompson with the assist. He is a, a heat maker uh, to the ball game. Now the timeout has been called by Miami with only 2.11 to go. It's 52-39. The NBA Finals of 2K22 on 2K Sports is brought to you by YouTube TV. Aditas, impossible is nothing. And by Kia, your local Kia dealer. The official vehicle of the NBA. Stick around later. We have a lot of huge battles in between game six. And we got only one game left in the Western Conference Finals. That means the Flames and Avs are doing it again once more. It's tough now to see why they're going for another one. They really got some uh, higher average here for the Avs, but the Flames wanted to stop the pressure things down to try to hit the deck. They really just stand out their victory here. And to close things off, but a Jordan for a New Balance player of the game in Game 5, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry was definitely taking his own time. He really wants to take his own ability and try to find a pass and open shots. So far, however, he really got it in there and try to hit the deck. Adebayo finds Butler, takes it down. This is to wow, the Butler would drive is putting up craziness in the floor. He is. Honest with that opinion here, and anybody was watching this one, and I don't know what to tell you that one. The Butler was like making a save out there. And that was your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Another slam dunk performance run in the finals. Thompson back to Curry, back to Poole. Six to shoot. Where Warriors need to get a shot in there. Three and around him, and a great drive moment for Draymond Green, his second bucket in his career. He's putting up a dominant run, and they're all going beat the heat. Butler hits another drive, and this one's coming down in the wire. It's 54-43. Curry back the other way. He swings over, and it's the Robinson with the steal. Not a way of what he's looking for, but he's got a great steal to stop in. Lowry hits the drive, and it's now down by five. Might have to watch out for that one here. This might be, might be a tough battle in between. Over Bam, great scooting in, and Green has six points. The team is already on a huddle. 
and now to feeding it again. Thompson, what a deliberation for the defender on Butler. I'm telling you why, Thompson's on a strong move. It looks like their team is like stopping things down. They are a hustle making. Awesome try. Poole's gonna do it. And Jordan Poole finally delivers the three. Now it's a tough miss that you can feel the spirit. The team in, in Chase Center has put up a dominant run. And Bayo Anabayo has made the alley-oop after the pass has been lifted up right over to P.J. Tucker. It may have been P.J. Tucker, but I don't know what to say, but it can be a very tough one to try to make the range of bound. Pool on the board. Shot clock down to five, and he will close things off here as only three seconds is made and that should do for the end of the Warriors' uh, possession. Miami. Now, last possession will be Miami, and last change up here. Well, I'm telling you this one here, it's been a wonderful postseason, and after the regular season completion, I'm guessing that we are looking for, forward for our next new season. And that should do. Miami is done, and he congratulated the team of the Warriors. 59-47 is your final. What a game out there. Excellent move. The feed is all real. And that's why Warriors are the best team in the Western Conference. Let's go down to David Aldrich to close the game for the finals. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball is just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots when they're out. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, DA. Thank you guys for watching for the NBA postseason of the playoffs, the semifinals, the conference finals, and the NBA finals. We could have done it without the 75th season of the NBA, and it looks like we are going to wrap it up with the closing of this game. So that means it looks like we have only one player that will be representing the finals MVP. Yeah, that's correct. And here's the close to wrap things up here for the last three star players of the game. Why don't we go ahead and start with Son of Beast first, and OJU next, and then me as last. So, with that being said, let's start with you, Son of Beast, your take. Number three, we have it all down on board to rise their pressure with all achievements. Clay Thompson, nine points, four rebounds, three assists, and a steal. Only made an attempt to hit one dunk. An excellent performance run of 17. Off to OJ for number two. Number two, all he has to give things up here, a great solution to try to hit the run on the board. That may be approachable, but that might be tough to go for. Jimmy Bowler, 16 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 dunks. The performance run of this total was 24. And I'm seeing a great uh, a lot of us average here. And I always give them a congratulations here. A great game to Jimmy Butler and their teammates. Hopefully they can come back here for next season, and so has the Warriors. And for number one, me phone, it's all yours. That one's going to be a tough one out there. Could have been Kyle Lowry with the New Balance player of the game, but this one is going to be out of the liberation of his team. That is Stephen Curry. That's 20 point, 22 points, 1 rebound, 8 assists, 1 steal. And he just got a great scoring run, 39 performance run. And for that, that might be the only thing for him if we could try to fix things up here on the board. And now we close things off with the finals MVP, and I know who it's going to be. It's Stephen Curry. Yeah, that's right. His team is like delivering things like he never done before. Always using a total of each games, combining one through five. And I may be telling you on that one here. It could be a great one to relieve the resistance. All on hands on deck, maybe putting up a great show in between. And for Stephen Curry, he his brother, Seth Curry, is proud of him. Well, I guess that might be the only thing that we can go for here. Why do you think there, OJ? 
Oh, yeah. Curry, the best man ever. And he's played here before. Well, folks, with this wrapping up of Season 6, it is finally finished. So with that one, I'd like to thank you all for watching for the NBA part of the postseason. And that has been concluded for the NBA Finals of 2K22. And with the Warriors, a Finals of 2K Champion. It's just like a real game on TV, if you've always seen it. And we know it's the first uh, Western Conference team that won the finals here on the other hand. So with that, along with me, Meatphone, and OJ, we appreciate your support. And with all the, the, uh, the sports crew in between the, uh, the refs, the commissions, and all the teams of fans, we'd like to thank you all for tuning us here on my channel for the NBA of 2K22. We'll see you next season in NBA 2K23 for the new players, new matchups, and of course, the new courts. So with that, this has been a presentation for the con to conduction of the NBA postseasons of the playoffs, conference semifinals, conference finals, and the NBA finals which is the finals. So with that one, stay tuned for the Stanley Cup playoffs in between the conference finals and the Stanley Cup finals for the last one to keep the deck in to finish the first time of the season before heading to next season of NBA 2K23 and NHL 23. So with that, peace out everyone for a while as the the NBA best moments here of the NBA Finals dial of 2K22. So, with that, would you like to say anything about the, anything special there, guys? Uh, no thanks. Uh, I think it's all good right now. Uh, how about you, the new phone? Um, it, yeah, it's all I have to say about that one here. It was the toughest game out there, right? Yeah, totally right. But that's all we have to change here for. So, with that, I guess that does mean that we can close this game out there. So with that, why you want to say peace out, everyone? Uh, uh, okay, I'll just I'll just do it anyway here. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I'll do it anyway. And let's let's say it all together here, everybody. Let's start with me first, and then we'll go up down inside of me here. Yeah, okay. Sure thing. Peace out, everyone. Of the NBA 2K22. Peace out, NBA fans. Peace out, fans of NBA 2K22. That's the best one. OJ's the winner. Ah, oh, man. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I've always been seeing things a good time moment out there. Anyway, this is NBA 2K22 signing out. See you next season.